So let's take a look at the code for a left rotate. Because we have pointers from node to children and um, children to parents, we don't need to return everything, anything. We can manipulate our pointers within a single method. So we're going to have a public void left rotate method. And that's going to take the node that's doing the rotation. So remember that when we're doing a left rotate, that's going to take our grandparent node, right? We're going to set a temporary node, node kv temp. And we're doing a left rotation. So we need to set temp equal to node dot right, OK? And now we've used node dot right, we can set node dot right equal to temp, OK? So we're doing a left rotation. So we're starting with a situation like this. Here's A, here's B, and here's C. So what we've done is we've set a temporary pointer to B, and then we've set A's right child pointing to B's node dot right is temp dot left, to B's left child. So B's left child is down here, it's an X, and so now we've set our temporary pointer here. So one of the things that we need to understand, we need to correct, is our parent pointers. So we need to know if this is not null, we need to set its parent pointer. And we need to change because it was a left child. It was B's left child, and now it's A's right child. And so we need to update our is left pointer. So if node.right is not null, then we need to go ahead and update its parent pointer. So we're going to say node.right.parent. And that's going to point to node, OK? And we need to say node.right is no longer a left child. Node.right.isLeftChild is equal to false. So we've updated our right child. Now what we need to do is we need to check and see, do we have a parent? Because if we have a parent, what we need to do, if we have a parent, is set temp's parent to point to our parent. If we don't have a parent, what does that mean? It means we're the root node, OK? So if node.parent is null, we are the root node. Okay, if we're the root node, we've got a couple of things that we need to do. The first thing we need to do, we have our globally scoped root pointer that points to us. We need to make that point to temp, right? So let's say root is equal to temp. And of course, temp.parent is equal to null. If we're not the root node, if we're not the root node, then we need to set temp's parent to our parent. And we need to make sure that we get temporary's left and right pointers set correctly. OK? So if we're not the root node, actually, let me put an else in here. So else temp.parent is equal to node.parent. And if, if we are a left child, if we're a left child, then temporary is going to become a left child because temporary node is taking our place, right? We're using temporary in place of ourselves. That's the last step in our rotation. So if we're a left child, then temp will become a left child. So if node is left child, temp dot is left child 
is going to be true. And the other thing we need to do, so we've set temp.parent to point to node.parent. What we need to do is to set the pointer from temp.parent back to temp. So temp.parent.left. And don't forget, right now, temp.parent.left currently points to the node that's doing the rotation. But we need to make the node doing the rotation, and we need to replace that with temp, okay? So temp.parent.left becomes temp. So we're taking a pointer. We've got a node here that's called temp. We're going up to its parent node. which we've just defined here as node.parent. And we, when we do that initially, because we're going back up, initially, parent.left points to the node that we were given to rotate. In the case here, it's an A. So we break that link, and we say, make temp.parent.left point back. So now we have one pointer going from temp to parent, and another pointer going from parent to temp. So we're manipulating two different pointers here. It gets a little bit tricky to make sure we get them all right. If that's not true, if node is not a left child, node is a right child, then we set temp dot is left child equal to false, and we set temp dot parent dot right equal to temp. Okay. So we've handled the situation where we need to worry about um, the parent pointers. We've started our rotation, but we haven't quite finished it. And so the last three lines that we need to handle in our rotation code, we set temp.left equal to node. We set node.is left child equal to true, because we just set it to the left child, and we set node.parent equal to temp, okay? And that's our left rotation code. Let's walk through it with a diagram. Here's A, here's B, here's C, and here's D, and D is my node that causes the violation, and so B is the node that I pass in, so this is going to be initially going to be node, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a temporary pointer to point to node's right child. So here's my temporary pointer. It's going to point to C, okay? And then I have to set node's right child to temp's left. So I may have something down here, or I may not. I'm just going to put a box there. And so I'm going to set node's right child to temp's left. OK, so here's node's right child. And I'm going to have it set to temporary pointer's left child. I've got two things pointing here. That's fine. We're going to fix that later on. So now I need to know. Um, if node.write is not null, which it may or may not be, then I have to set my parent pointer going back in the other direction. And I have to set left child here to false because it's a right child. It was a left child of C, and now it's a right child of B. Now what I need to do is I, I look at node.parent, and I say, hey, node.parent, are you null? If it's null, we're at the root, so we use the root. If it's not null, then temporary node, which is C, temporary node.parent, and temporary node.parent currently points to B, because that was what it was before. So I have to break that link, and I have to make temporary node.parent point to A. If node is a left child, it's not a left child, it's a right child. So I have to say temporary node is left child is false. OK, that's good. And um, temp.parent.write is equal to temp. So temp.parent points to A, 
and temp.parent.write now points to B. So I have to break that link, and I have to make temp.parent.write point to temp. Okay. Then I come up here, I say temp.left pointing to node. So right now, temp.left is right here. It points to this piece right here. And so I'm going to set temp.left pointing to the node. And I set node is left is true because it's a left child. It was a right child, but now it's a left child. And then I have to set node.parent equal to temp. Node.parent was pointing to A, but now node.parent is pointing to C. So if I redraw this tree, I start out with A, and I have a link from A to C, and a link from C to A. So we've got A going to C, and we have both parent and child pointers. Now on C, on its left child, I've got a link to B, and I've got both parent and child pointers going to B. And B's right child, if necessary, I've got parent and child pointers in B's right child. B's left child remains unchanged, that's fine. C's right child remains unchanged, and that's D. And we haven't manipulated D at all, even though D is the one that caused all the problems. We don't change it, and so we have parent and child pointers between C and D. And so we started off with a, B, C, D in a line, and now we've rotated B, and we've ended up with a more balanced tree. So when we're looking at tree methods, sometimes we need to do things to the left child, and sometimes we need to do things to the right child. And it depends, for example, what kind of rotations we need to do to determine whether we're manipulating the left child or the right child. In these videos, I'm only showing you how to do half of the manipulations. So for example, I may show you how to do a right rotation. I'll show you the code that allows you, given a node, figure out its grandparent, and make that grandparent do the right rotation. I'm not going to show you the, note, the code to do the left rotation but the code is basically the same. All you're doing is when you have a left child, you use the right child. When you have the right child, you use the left child. And so you should practice writing these codes because I'll give you the code for half of it, but you should be able to understand the code in a way that allows you to write the other half.